Hi guys, it's Harvey from All Parts Pool and Spa. Alright, everybody knows I'm in safety. Number one, I'm not trying to take any hoopla from anybody. This is from the uh, Stay Right Pentair Manual. I recommend all the time, Stay Right Pentair has a college once a year. I can't stress it enough if you are truly interested in doing this as a business you go to this college it books up quick and you'll have the best time of your life and you'll learn a lot it's a week of not fun I'll tell you that much it's classroom and but they'll they will teach you um, hopefully um, there's a lot of good teachers out there but anybody sees my blogs and they see a person named Sue Roback. She's out in California. Sue probably teaches the thing. She's one fabulous teacher. Alright. The thing I want to tap into and everybody gets confused is how much water can I get out of my pipe? So let me explain one thing. This is your pipe size, PVC schedule 40. This is, is how fast is the pipe pushing through the water per second. Okay, this is where we can start talking with anti entrapment. All right, my thing you don't need all these safety systems if you design a system properly with uh, the proper pump and the proper everything you would not get anti-entrapment the problem is nobody knows how to overdo it instead of having two drains have six drains and have them capable if they're each do it, capable of doing 75 gallons a minute let each or all six drains do 75 gallons a minute and it's how it's piped but people don't want to learn to do that so that's why pools are going to be nightmares and why this is keep popping up I don't know but anyway that's feet per second this is how fast you can pump it out okay the faster you go alright the more trouble you can get into three quarter inch pipe seven feet per second is 12 gallons per minute. We go up another f foot per second, it goes to 14. Then 10 feet per second goes to 17. Remember the other day I was showing you a pump? Okay, somebody wanted to pump out their pool and they were doing a garden hose. Well, a garden hose is no three quarter inch, it is 12 gallons a minute at seven feet per second alright so this is an excellent chart I would keep in um, my hand remember this is where I try to tell everybody that um, I think inch and a half should be outlawed it should be either two or two and a half you see the ga gallon rate that it increases just going from inch and a half to two, okay, is unbelievable. That's why an inch and a half should be taken away, all right? And everybody says inch and a half pipes capable of doing 760 gallons a minute. That's 10 feet per second. That's pretty much maxed out, okay? You don't want to max out pipe on a pool. It's what gets people in trouble. That's why inch and a half should be outlawed. It should be two and a half for three. That's my personal opinion. Minimum two. All right. I don't want to go over. Um, again, I, I don't teach for stay right, but this little section right here, um, feed per minute and how many gallons per minute can you pipe do out of a certain pipe is really interesting. Now keep in mind, every time you add a 45, we're a 90, that's the next thing I'll teach is 
you know, this is where you start losing some stuff because your run start turning longer and longer and longer and longer. This is something right here. I will teach you. I need to find my um, vacuum gauge. You can tell your head loss on your pool pump just by a pressure gauge and a vacuum gauge. Okay? And when you're figuring, when you're trying to go to a pool pump or the pool and you're trying to figure out what's my largest pool pump can I put on, what's going on with the system, you can pretty much calculate how far from from my suction lines to my outlets, how long of a length of pipe do I have by using a pressure gauge and a vacuum gauge and you can figure out how many feet of pipe you got were um, if you're calculating head of loss if you think you need a high head pump you can calculate that out, say if a pump's just not cutting it right um, and the pump's definitely 10 foot up in the air. I mean, we live next to the ocean, so some of our pumps are 14 foot up in the air. And um, it's funny, they put a check valve halfway down the ground and they do it on the suction side and they don't use a skimmer plate and the leaves and everything else gets stuck in the in the um, in the uh, valve, um, so I don't know. Anyway, this is a pet peeve of mine. Is uh, right here. This is how many gallons you can pump through some PVC pipe. All right, guys, business is ringing. See you later.